Last Friday night, the Hanover Marauders football team hosted the Lebanon Raiders for their annual rivalry matchup. Lebanon had lost the week before while the Marauders remained undefeated. So let's see which team was able to take home this year's Principals Cup. The Raiders with a record of 2-1 hoped to hand the Marauders their first loss of the year and knock them down to 3-1. But they would soon realize this wouldn't be an easy task. During the first quarter, both teams had trouble moving the ball as defense seemed to dominate play. But once the second quarter began, Hanover exploded with three straight touchdown drives. The first two were scored by running back Alex Mosenthal and the third by Reed Winter. Fake handoff to the up man and gives to Mosenthal. He's got plenty of room and powers his way into the end zone. The Marauders were able to take a 20-0 lead into halftime but Lebanon was able to respond when Ryan Milliken caught and ran the ball in from 57 yards out. Perkins open, the throw oh. is short, and it's caught underneath by oh. Milliken. He's going to go all the way for the touchdown, Ryan Milliken. The Raiders would successfully go for two to make the score hand over 20, Lebanon 8. The Marauders knew they had to respond, and they did when they were able to convert on a fourth down and 20, when quarterback Connor Stafford threw a pass to wide receiver Avery Monahan, who pushed his way to the two-yard line, which set up another short touchdown run for Reed Winter. By the end of the game, the Marauders had won 34-8. Stafford looked sharp as he accumulated 95 passing yards, along with Mosenthal rushing for nearly 100 yards with three touchdowns, and Winter with over 100 to go along with two touchdowns. YCN caught up with Mosenthal and Winter after the game to get their thoughts about the big win. Well, of course, it always means a lot to like beat your rival, especially when it's Lebanon. But also, and we have like one of our captains who's out for a season with ACL, and he comes to the, right at, day after his surgery, he comes to the game, and it means a lot to win it for him. So that made the win even more special. We practiced hard all week. Like it was the most intense week of practice I've ever had in my life. And then we got in the game. Even when we went up, we never got satisfied. So we were still flying around, playing as hard as we could, and no one lost focus. We, we like to make the playoffs. That's our first for you know first time forever and once we get there just take it like one game at a time and make it all the way to the state championship it's unbelievable you know we haven't won this in you know three or four years and you know to go out as seniors and beat our rival Lebanon it was just a phenomenal feeling and you know it's something we all wanted all look for it and we you know right as we got the schedule we knew we you know we had Lebanon at home and you know we knew we had the fans and we just it was awesome and we knew we wanted it and we, you know, we just want it. Our defensive line just, you know, shut him down. You know, Milliken's great back and, you know, our defensive line made it very hard for him to find holes. And then our offensive line just pushed him. And, you know, I found a few holes. You know, our receivers, Connor, all through passed well. And I think it just, it was phenomenal all around game. And, you know, we loved it, every bit of it. But we're not satisfied, not satisfied. Hanover hadn't beat Lebanon in the Principals Cup since 2012. And their 4-0 record is the school's best start to the season since 2005. Look for the Marauders to be on top of Division II come playoff time. <laughs> Congrats to Hanover on the big win. This victory sure did solidify the Marauders as a powerhouse in Division II. 